Hello, and welcome to Thor Labs. My name is Chris, and today we will be demonstrating on how to manually cleave 400 micron core multi-mode fiber. This process works with single mode and multi-mode, but for demonstration purposes, we'll be showing the larger core multi-mode fiber. For today's demonstration, we have our fiber, our fiber stripping tool, our fiber grippers, scissors, scotch tape, and a ruby scribe. I'll be using the ruby scribe today to achieve an optical cleave. We also provide carbide and ceramic for cleaves that will be polished afterwards. For inspection, we have a 10x eye loop, a bare fiber terminator with an SMA adapter, a viewing screen, a fiber clamp, and a fiber coupled LED. Start, we'll take our spool of fiber and remove the amount that we need for our application. Next, using the fiber stripper, remove a couple inches from each side of the cladding. I like to tap the excess buffer out. The reason for that distance is because we want to leave ourselves some space if we have to recleave. Next is to secure the piece to your work surface. I like to use scotch tape. So using the tape about two inches up from the edge of your work surface, tape the piece down to the table. I like to use two pieces for extra strength. Next, take your ruby scribe and hold it perpendicular to the fiber. You want to nick the cladding without cutting into the core. To do this, in one fluid motion, go from left to right, because I'm right-handed, lefties will be the opposite, and score the clad. Each fiber size will react differently, and the larger the fiber, the more strength, the smaller the fiber, the less strength. You should hear and feel a gritty type of sound. Next, using our bare fiber grippers, apply pressure to the front end of the fiber where the tape is, and grab the back of the fiber. The idea is gonna to be to pull straight back and create a pop sound. If you torque the fiber in any particular way that's not straight back, you could create an uneven cleave or have jagged edges. Once the fiber is cleaved, check it using your 10X eye loop, pointing it up at the light. Ideally, you should see a flat, round, mirror-like surface. If you're happy with the cleave, repeat the same process on the other side. If you're not, just repeat the process. So I'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Again, with the scribe perpendicular to the fiber, create a nick. Then, applying pressure from the front, pull back. Another way to check your cleave is by inspecting your quality of light output. To do this, we're going to terminate the fiber using a bare fiber terminator. Simply insert the fiber, and then pull back till it's flush with the connector face. You now have a terminated piece of fiber. Next, you're gonna plug in to your light source. In this case, we're using a fiber coupled LED and attach. You'll then want to clamp the fiber in a fiber clamp. Turning on your power for your light source, you can now see a nice unified beam pattern which means a good cleave. A bad cleave would look something like this. Oops. 
out of focus, and not spherical. In general, practice makes perfect when it comes to cleaving. We hope this helps the next time you have to manually cleave a fiber. For more information, please contact Tech Support. Thank you.